Most life on Earth wouldn't be possible without ozone in the stratosphere. It only exists in small amounts, but it plays a vital role in blocking damaging UV rays from reaching the surface of the planet 15 to 35 kilometers below. Yet ozone in this lowest layer of the atmosphere, about 15 kilometers below, in the troposphere, is a harmful pollutant and acts as a greenhouse gas here. So tropospheric ozone is formed through complex chemical reactions involving other gases such as nitrogen oxides and methane, which are themselves detrimental to human health and can act as a greenhouse gas in the case of methane. However, throughout recent decades, tropospheric ozone levels have been increasing in the atmosphere, which is a problem as it can cause respiratory problems for humans, damage to plants and crops, and can even slowly degrade buildings and other materials. The story of stratospheric ozone, however, is a hopeful one. In the early 1980s, scientists discovered that the ozone layer was being depleted by emissions of chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, a human-created family of chemicals that were mostly used in refrigerators and aerosols. A persistent ozone hole was found over the Southern Hemisphere. World governments came together and agreed the Montreal Protocol in 1987, an international treaty aimed at phasing out CFCs. Ever since, the ozone layer has been slowly recovering, evidence that governments throughout the globe can work together to avert environmental harm.